Hello everyone, and welcome to Counselor Future Friday. I'm your host, Brian Urban. In these features, we hope to give you some simple tips, tidbits, and tricks to make your days easier and your patients happier. In this feature, we're going to talk about filtering within dashboard widgets. Now, it's pretty frequent we get calls where people are saying, I'm working on a dashboard widget. It's getting me most of the way. I can see the data that I need, but I need to refine it further. Something specific I'm looking for. Maybe I want to exclude certain things from the list. Uh, and what we frequently do is we encourage people to check out this little uh, gear symbol, which is located in many of the dashboard widgets. Each one of these gear symbols in each dashboard widget has specific tools relative to that data set. So if there's things you're looking for, for example, warranty expiration, maybe you are only looking at regular warranties and not extended or just extended, right? And maybe, or maybe you want only patients without upcoming appointments, right? It's just a simple to, way to say, maybe I don't have to reach out to those patients because they already have an appointment scheduled, right? Just a simple, quick way to refine that data and see what you're looking for. Or let's take uh, text messaging, for example, right? Maybe you want to refine uh, the list that you're seeing. So you can choose to exclude confirmation um, replies. You could choose to exclude replies that you marked as processed. So if you have uh, reviewed the text messages, you say, okay, we've seen uh, Patricia's reply. I'm going to check, well, it would be unchecked to start off with. I'm going to check that to say, yes, I've already uh, um, acknowledge that, I've read the message, and we've submitted a reply back to her, well, then I'm going to put this one as processed, right? So that way, it just kind of cleans up your list a little bit, so that way you're not seeing uh, some of those um, uh, potentially, you know, a text message you've already addressed, you're not seeing them as much, right? Um, and a lot of different other options, if you look at, for example, like opportunity tracking, maybe you're looking at test not treated patients, you see your list over the last year, let's say, and you want to sort this by reason. Right. So point being is there are all kinds of different ways that these dashboard um, widget filters come in handy. So I would encourage you just as you're going through different um, dashboards, if you have any uh, particular you know, uh, need to refine the data further, that just look for the little gear symbol, click on it. It'll give you some options. You know, go forward. This one, for example, has the ability to uh, in integrate essentially tags as part of the filtering process, right? In addition to when their last va uh, last visit was, or if they have no upcoming appointments, and so um, you can get pretty detailed in this filtering process. Now, of course, if you have any questions about this, please give us a call, email us, live chat us. We are always happy to help. Thank you very much for joining us for today's Counselor Feature Friday, and as always, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.